Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel! If you've seen some of my videos, then you know already that I like information which is well structured, just because it makes it easier to understand a new topic. And same goes to numbers. When I'm trying to get better understanding of something new, for example, new market, I always start with key figures. What is the market size? What are the segments? Who are the main players? And what market shares do they have? And this key information gives you the basis to build your further understanding of the topic. And when I just started investigating the topic of sustainability, and I mean, even now, I often ask myself a question, how bad the situation is, how badly we affected the planet already. And today I wanna to share with you 10 facts that help to answer this question. This is certainly not an exhaustive list of all possible facts. No, not at all. But these 10 already help to answer this question quite comprehensively. And they fall into four areas, land use, climate, biodiversity, and earth biocapacity. Let's start with land use. Only less than a quarter of the ice-free land can still be considered wild. The rest three quarters, one way or another, have been significantly altered by human activity. Due to the rapid expansion of human activity, the world has already lost a third of its forest, an area twice the size of the United States. And large portion of forest is lost to agriculture. As of now, over 40% of the total Earth's surface is comprised of agricultural lands. Now let's have a look at the facts about climate. Our actions have already irreversibly altered the climate. Global temperatures are now 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. We have increased CO2 concentration by 1.5 times comparing to pre-industrial levels. And by the way, the last time the planet witnessed such a CO2 concentration was over 800,000 years ago. And despite the fact that burning fossil fuels is the main reason of climate change, renewables still cover less than 15% of global energy consumption. The next one, biodiversity. Biodiversity is extremely important. It is the best measure of the overall ecosystem health. The global biodiversity, measured as population sizes of mammals, birds, fish, amphibians, and reptiles, have seen an alarming drop of almost 70% only in the last 50 years. It is falling especially steep in tropical regions. The largest fall is observed in the Latin American Caribbean, they have lost 94% of its initial biodiversity. Just think about it. These regions now have only 6% of the nature they once had. Oceans are in a great danger as well. As an example, coral reefs create an ecosystem that is vital for about a quarter of all marine life. And half of the world's corals have been lost already. And the last area I'm gonna be talking about in this video, Earth's biocapacity. Here I have highlighted only one fact, but it is extremely important. Until 1970s, humanity's ecological footprint was smaller than the Earth's rate of regeneration. But in the 21st century, the situation has changed dramatically. Now we are overusing the Earth's biocapacity by at least 56% meaning that Earth doesn't have time to recover. And even if we find a way to somehow fix the climate change, sooner or later, Earth will reach the point of no return because ecological systems will just break down, unless we change the way we treat them. Guys, thanks for watching. And as always, thank you for being interested in this really important topic of sustainability. Uh, going further, I think I'm gonna continue to experiment with formats on this channel because I want to develop it further, but I'm kind of struggling to find the right format because videos I typically do take a lot of time to create, honestly, and I need to find something simpler, for example, like today's video. But going further, mm, I don't know, I think I will continue experimenting. So if you guys have ideas or formats or topics that you want me to have a look at, then just let me know in the comments down below. I will be really grateful and thanks again for watching and see you soon, guys.